all right um the thing uh, how we've managed to finally port android onto the htc gene to wing linux right In the usual boot sequence which is now horizontal let me just fix this Wait, I'll just turn off my monitor So basically, uh, what I did was um, uh, the a Android was running as it is. Like uh, many people had already mentioned, it was all because of Wing Linux, which is actually a uh, port uh, of Android done on, uh, on the HTC Wizard. Um, so uh, by by this guy called Cory um, Cory, his his uh, pseudonym is Darkstar. And uh, the thing which was uh, bothering us in uh, with all the people at the XDA developers, uh, the thing that was bothering us was that uh, we weren't being able to use anything. Or uh, once Android booted, uh, touch screen won't work, nor would the keys or the keypad. Right. So here's the Android loading screen. So, anyways, uh, like I was saying, uh, things weren't really working. So what I did was I basically ran had it. Uh, in a reverse uh, uh, engineering mode, basically what I did was I used to pull uh, whatever uh, input I used to make. Okay, there's the home screen. So I used to pull whatever used to be, uh, uh, you know, whatever I used to configure, whatever I used to input. Like if I touch the keypad, I map the IRQ and the GPIOS, uh, GPIO value whenever I used to press the touch screen or not. So, anyways. This is, you know, I can I can go into Google search and I can pull this thing up. See, it's an HTC gene. It's not really supposed to be working on this, but hey, it's working. Look at this, right? And what can we see? Um, why isn't it focused? Let's say, uh, what can we do? What can we show? The dialer. Let's try the dialer. No, try the dialer. And here the dialer is. Um, well, uh, who's, whom should I dial? Say, let me just try my balance. So, one, two, three, hash. And press the call button. This? What's happening? Oops. Hello? Nope. Oh. Alright, so <laughs> we have to work on this. <laughs> But hey, I did I did manage to send a message uh, earlier uh, when I was trying to work on things. Uh, probably there must be some issue with the dialog code and stuff because you can see see you can see that I'm on roaming. There's the R icon here. I was able to send a message. I don't know why this call didn't materialize. Obviously, there have to be things which aren't working pretty well. Uh, Calendar, Dev Tools. What, what, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, let me try settings. Ooh, this is like the first time the touch screen has been activated on the Android on Gene, as far as I know. And yes, this is Android. Um, hey, wait! I've got an SD card. Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh shit! It can actually see my SD card. Can see. Available space now. Can I can I explore it somehow? I can unmount it. Oh, but uh, there's one issue. <laughs> I can't go back, so this is probably the last menu I'll be seeing. I can pull this thing down, perhaps. See, you can see it's at a boom boom. Wrong date though. And just throw it up again. Go up, damn it. And uh, available space enable. 
Right, right, right. It can't see it. See, it says unavailable. Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. Then how could it mount and unmount and stuff, whatever. And then internal phone storage. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Sorry, my bad. Uh, this thing is working from the storage card, right? So uh, we've allocated some memory on the storage card. So this is the available space that is showing. So it's 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 good enough. So it shows that shows that as, in, as internal storage. Probably that's why it's so slow. Hey, there's something written over here. SD card and phone storage. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you. Bye. -bye.